Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on JavaScript. In some of the websites, you might have seen the page automatically redirects to another site, just like this, what we have seen now. This is one of the most widely used feature in JavaScript. This is very useful when you have created a new site and still people are referring to the old site. At that time, you can use this redirection to that another site or page feature so that whoever goes to that site that is the older site, they will be navigated to the new site. This can be achieved in JavaScript using very simple code. In this video, I will show you how we can achieve this one using JavaScript. For that, first let me take a basic structure of HTML. I will add some content or instruction at the top so that user can see this one that our page is being redirected to the other page. As I said, this redirection function can be achieved using a JavaScript. We need to have a script tag within which we can add our JavaScript code. To redirect to another page, we can use JavaScript's inbuilt function that is window.location is equals to then you need to specify the URL to which you want to redirect. In this example, I want to redirect this one to www.youtube.com. So I have specified this URL here. So this piece of code will redirect us to another site that is YouTube in this case. To call this one, I will enclose this one in a function. So for that one, I will use a function redirect to the new site. Then I will cut this one and paste into the function. Now the next step is we need to call this function. As we are interested in redirecting this page to another site, as soon user comes to this page, they will see this message. We can give some time to the user so that they can read this one. Then we can call this redirect to the new site function so that it will redirect to youtube.com. For that one, I will use JavaScript's inbuilt method set timeout. Set timeout function will be triggered after a particular time, which we are going to define here. Set timeout function accepts two parameters. One is the function which needs to be called after a particular time. In this example, I want to call this function so that the first parameter will be the function which I want to call. Then as a second parameter, you need to mention the time. After that particular time, this function will be called and whatever the code within that one that will be executed. JavaScript accepts time in terms of milliseconds. So I have mentioned as 5000 milliseconds. That means it is 5 seconds. So when user comes to this page, it will wait for 5 seconds. Then this function will be called. Within this function, we are redirecting our user to this new site. So now we are done with the code. Let's save this one and open this document in the browser. You can see the text. So we are waiting for 5 seconds. So after 5 seconds, you can see this page has been automatically redirected to youtube.com. So this is a very basic feature or function which we can get from JavaScript. But this is very useful when you have created new sites and you have old site as well where users are coming and uh, you want to redirect them to your new site so that you don't lose users. That's it guys for this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on like button, subscribe to my channel and share it to others.